Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Persona 5. Yes, Persona 5, not Danganronpa 5, like last time. So, we've been giving our we've been given our mission objective, which is to seal Kamishita's heart. But it's not gonna be that easy. Probably. So let's talk to Morgana. Get a little closer, maybe. Wait, can I talk to you? Oh, there we go. Mm. I'm all for teaching you how to make infiltration tools, but you really need to clean your room first. We already did. You should have seen how it was when we first got here. It was even worse than this. So have to clean up. This is a weird camera angle. Because I can't really see what's behind here. Do you want me to clean up this area? I don't think I can. Oh. That desk looks pretty useful. We can just clean it later, right? For now, let's get some sleep. Okay. So, I guess we'll just clean up automatically later. Well, then. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Keep it together, alright? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we visit Igor. Maybe we'll get some more tutorials. Sounds like it. Look, we have a strange- Oh, well, that's Morgana. That's silly. Is it the stress of Kamishita's threat weighing on me? It, it could just be Morgana lying on you. But sure, let's go with the stress option. Oh, it's a Saturday. I wonder if that means we'll have the day off. Oh. Even if it's a crowded uh, place, it looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky enough. Mm. I guess so. While we're riding the train, we've got some downtime. I wonder if we could put it to good use. How so? I have no idea. What would we do on the train? What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy and I have no energy. I've tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some kind of new virus? That's cool. <laughs> That's not cool. Is this the onset of psychotic breakdown? What? What should I do? Am I gonna die? Calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic, come on. I'm sure that the doctor can prescribe you something and I'll fix you right up. I see. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? Well, yeah, usually. Hey, wasn't that one customer back at LeBlanca, doctor? That's right, I remember the punk looking girl. She's wearing some punk clothes. Yeah, it looks like an interesting doctor to me. No! That's not what's important here. Though she did have an interesting fashion sense. Anyway, it might be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. Oh, so in Japan they only have Sunday off, I guess? Oh well. Yeah, it looks like we're going to school, isn't it? Yep, we're in class. Oh god, we're gonna have another question, aren't we? Hey, we're meeting up at the hideout after school, right? Don't text now, we're in class. Whoa, you mean you're actually listening to this crap? Yeah, but none of it's really sticking today. I know, right? Anyways, hideout after school? Where exactly is the hideout? The school roof. Wait, we can still go up there? Yeah, I'll let you in. Well, I'll be waiting. Just come when school's over. Yeah, of course. Why would we not go? I'm gonna find you if you're late. Got strict. Uh oh. Hey, morning. He saw us texting. But shouldn't she have been texting too? You think he'd yell to both of us? You, pay attention. Is this how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. I was gonna ask us a pop quiz question. Oh shit! What an asshole! He threw chalk at us. Oh, that looked like it hurt. He hit him right in the forehead. That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. Ah, good grief. It looks like you need some more proficiency to completely dodge that. Oh, really? So if we get enough skill, we can actually dodge the attacks. I thought we were going to have a pop quiz question, though. I was kind of looking forward to that, because we actually get some more intelligence if we answer that correctly. Yo, I've been waiting. Looks like we're all up here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on. It's still too early for us to head to the palace. Yeah, we need to get some proper equipment, right? But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Now then. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't have to beat the guy up in the palace. We just have to steal his treasure. Whatever that is. Don't underestimate the dangers of that palace. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with? That's exactly what I mean when I say you don't underestimate it. 
You'll die if you mess it up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady Anne. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. Hey. You're talking about weapons? I know a kick-ass weapon place. Okay. In that case, you can handle that side of things. Really, he's gonna be the weapon master? I don't know if I trust that. The only other thing we would be stocking up on is medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in the palace. Where do we get medicine? Well, we do happen to know a doctor now. Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady Anne. Now then, try and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Where's Yongen? Yeah, what? I forgot what you let's mentioned. Go. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. I don't remember the location names. I've got a good idea. Oh, it's the doctor. Hey, remember that customer you met at LeBlanc yesterday? The doctor prescribed medication after a quick examination, so you're sitting at the booth. Yeah. I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. She's somewhere in this neighborhood, right? Take me to her. Yeah, essentially it's just where we live. What stats do we need to improve to get me playing on the girls? Um, that's a good question. I remember we saw like a... Let's go to the menu real quick. Is it in stats or is it somewhere else? Social stats. Yeah, we have these stats available to us, so I'm not sure which ones we use for the girls. I guess it's charisma, right? Our charm is just barely existent right now. Probably charm and... Maybe we need more guts? I don't know. Kindness might help out too, because that's a heart. So, like, we'll know how to treat the ladies right or whatever. And maybe some ladies are like a smart person. I don't know. This is my first time playing Persona, so I'm not sure exactly how it works. So I can see where the uh, heart icon is, but let's see if there's anyone else we could talk to while we're down here. Yeah, I don't see anyone. All right, let's just go to the doctor. There's probably not much else we could do. Why aren't any of the politicians doing anything? I don't know. Oh, look, there's a little shop right here. A pawn shop. I have to get rid of that TV. It'd be better if I could just sell this thing instead of throwing it away. But who would want such an outdated TV in this day and age? Hey. It's like an old CRT TV. You can always come back here later. Yeah, yeah. Figured. What is this place? Oh, it's just a movie theater. Okay. At least there's stairs right here. Okay. That was easy enough. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us medicine? Huh. We need to be honest. Tell them that we're going to, like, a secret hideout, but... We probably shouldn't just tell them that. They're gonna think we're absolutely crazy. <laughs> Prescribes antipsychotics instead. I guess we'll have to make something up, right? Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it, alright? Let's step inside. What can we make up? Now, there she is right there. Can we look around first? Don't see anything too, uh, interesting. Oh. Languid doctor. Is this your first visit? I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, LeBlanc. Well, whatever. <laughs> she doesn't really care. So what are you doing here today? Hmm. My body feels lethargic. That's not a total lie because we were talking, about, talking at night about how we felt so stressed and couldn't sleep. And whenever we come back from those missions, we always feel tired anyway. So I guess that's... A pretty accurate description. Fine. Head to the exam room. I, don't, I don't think she buys it. Please head to the exam room. She's suspicious of us. It's a bad answer. Really. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain. Wait, pain relievers? Really? Just right out, we're gonna get painkillers just like that? Hmm. Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go sleeping pills and Aww. What? <laughs> Why would you just give us a totally different thing just because you don't have it in stock? Shouldn't you just order it and then give it to us? This is a pretty sketchy doctor after all, I guess. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? 
Um, yeah, sleeping isn't gonna do us anything good. Is that all you have? Huh? You're the patient here, you know? Do you think you should be telling me how to do my job? So it's just like I thought. What does this mean? Oh yeah, she she does know. She was testing us. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know? I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me. Are the rumors true? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. <laughs> really? I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. Well, I guess they are true then. But only medication that'll help you recover your health. Well, that's exactly what I need. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be in any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine dispensed is original. Thankfully, she hasn't heard all the bad rumors about us. The one person. I have a license to make my own formulas. What? You'll likely see them being sold at various hospitals. You just, like, mix your own medicine? That sounds pretty crazy. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So if that's okay with you, just stop by any time. You're a bad doctor. Yeah, let's not say that. Yeah, thanks. That'll help. Yep. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use that medicine for. That's fine, I guess. Oh no, she's a quack. Someone in the last stream was saying to call her a quack if we get the choice. But I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. That's all I've got right now. Okay. Which one? Whoa. <laughs> got some stylish art of her lifting up her legs there. Um. Or, well, she actually sells a ton of stuff. She was like, oh, I only sell you things that'll help you restore your health, but actually there's much more than that too. This will cure status ailments. For rage, despair, brainwash, or fear. Great, so if you ever met me Junko in this game, uh, you could use that. Restores 50% of HP to all allies. Oh, so that's cool. So, if you, like, get to a restroom, you can actually use this to restore your health. Like, almost to, uh, all the way, just 50%. What are the ones we have already? There were some healing items we got from Morgana or something in the beginning. Well, obviously, it's none of these, because we have zero of all these. Look at some of these. You don't need anything? No, I do need something. I'm just checking. Yeah, it's funny. This is a direct... Because this is 50 HP and it's 800. This does 100 HP and it's 1600. So, uh, it's not like we're saving any money. Work. Wow. This stuff is expensive. Uh, We'll just get two. Because this is really expensive stuff. Here you go. So far, we haven't met any enemies that have used status ailments. But now this is for sale. We'll probably meet them now, right? They're just so expensive, though. Maybe we'll wait a little bit longer, though. We'll see how far we get. I don't know anything else to buy, though. Here, one? we'll get one of these, too. Because if we get to a checkpoint, then that might be useful. Take care. Thank you. So far, I haven't had too many problems with healing. Because we could just use our magic. What's the reason for your visit? Are we eavesdropping again? Do you have a cold, stomach ache, athlete's foot? Whatever it is, you'll need to take a number. Probably wants painkillers like everyone else. Enough of this! <laughs> You're the one who could have developed that type of medicine. <sighs> oh god. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Rumor has it it's a potent drug that it can give a person unlimited power. Wow. Really? Really, that's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that will only become a social issue. You're really persistent, you know? I'm just a quack. The police may not be taking action, but I imagine the media will soon pick up on it. You intend to ruin my reputation again, huh? 
You're a disgrace to the medical community. Who is this guy? He's absolutely pissed, whoever he is. What's with that look? That was your mistake, was it not? I won't be responsible for your criminal actions. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. The name Tai Takemi will never... Who the hell is this? Hey, someone there. <laughs> Move her ass out of there. So obviously she developed some type of super thing that'll uh, give your character even more power. You probably have to do um, a mission for that though. You probably have to like get rid of that guy who's harassing her. Jeez, he almost caught us. Sound like they were talking about something dangerous. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? Uh, yeah, has to be. Seems sketchy, we should use that. Well, it's both sketchy and we should use that, so... Yeah. Yes. I agree, if it's that strong, it might come in handy at the palace. Alright, let's come back when there's when that man isn't there. We should involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the Phantom Thieves a secret, okay? okay. Anyway, great work, that went really well. Yeah, we don't want to tell uh, anyone we don't need to about it. There's a shop in Shibuya that sells model guns. I'll be glad to take you there if you want. Alright. Yeah, this is where he got that gun from. Sweet. Let's figure out where to meet. You at least know how to get to Shibuya Station, right? Yeah, we, we were there before, I think. I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check out the place for me? You can't come? Not tomorrow. I made plans to go see Shiho in the hospital. Gotcha. Don't worry, we got this. See you in Shibuya. Okay, might be getting our hands on some pretty decent stuff. Yeah, we'll go to the tomorrow, I guess. It's already late. Time flew. Okay. It's going smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take on to the palace. That's where the fun starts, right? I don't suppose there's anything else we could do. Do you say anything? Mm. Shibuya? Oh, um, of course I've heard of it before. Just can't remember a time that I've been there. If we try to go downstairs, nothing, right? Alright. We must sleep. Okay. You meet with Ryuji tomorrow, so don't oversleep. Uh, you know what? Let me save first. Let's do it. Because we only have a few opportunities to save, so we'll save each night. There we go. Now we can okay. sleep. Let's do this. Can we even afford the guns? I have no idea. That's why I was worried about spending too much money. Because I figured at some point we'd have to buy more weapons. Maybe not just guns, maybe we could get like other melee Shot. weapons too. Looks like you made it. Let's go. Okay, let's get gun. The shop's over this way. With guns, bullets are sold separately. Are there separate bullets? I thought they were like imaginary bullets. Please consider what I have to say. Who is this? Everyone, wake up! This country is twisted! This politician's actually saying some decent things, but not many people are stopping by to listen. Hey. Eh, people get speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. We're almost there, just don't get lost in the crowd. Who is this random man going on about stuff? Everyone. Strange incidents are occurring. What is the cause of them all? The runaway train incident. The mysterious psychotic breakdown phenomenon. These are all signs of the end of our once peaceful days. Now's the time for our politicians to show their strength, and yet... Yeah, like that's ever gonna happen? If you're interested in politics, you should come back another time. Alright. It's probably something that's gonna happen with that throughout the game. So we do know all the politicians or whatever, like the people in authority are corrupt. Maybe he's actually gonna start a movement and like, do something. Who knows. Yeah, in this game you can just buy guns apparently, but they're model guns, so I guess it's no big deal. The shot can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Alright, so unlike the other times, I'm gonna try to follow him, because like, anytime we let him get away... Who are you? You're from the school? Don't go to the alley, I saw a blonde punk just going, we're obviously following him. So stupid. This is it, pretty legit, huh? Oh yeah, now that we're here, you know anything about military stuff? Yeah, I'm just filled with knowledge about military stuff. I guess worst comes to worst, we can just ask the shopkeeper what they recommend. Come on, let's go. 
Wait, are we actually gonna get some real guns? Cause the model ones work just fine. Uh, this looks like a serious gun store. This is airsoft shop, but this looks pretty intense. You know what you want yet? <laughs> Look at this guy. He's got like a tattoo of a gecko on his neck or something. Looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? Revolver? Hmm? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Ryuji, how is he so silly? Listen, this is your enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. Damn what? filthy casuals. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. <laughs> Can't remember you. You bastard. And you, looking for something? I guess a fancy model gun. It doesn't really matter if it looks real, is it? <laughs> oh? You a collector? <laughs> You're way more interested than Blondie over there. Damn it. Shut it. <sighs> Anyways, should have said so that you're too enthusiasts. I'm always up for, for helping some fresh faces. Okay, sweet. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuss catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. I think this guy would like us being confident, let's see. That right. Look. Now if you look close, you'll be able to tell your models. Real guns feel different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff though. If you got the guts for it, of course. Yeah, I was right. So this guy likes if you, like, have some guts. So he'll probably appreciate confidence if you talk to him. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight, I'll bring him out. We did it, dude. <laughs> we totally gotta go for the fancy shit, right? I went on the shine. Yeah. And here's some cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Oh, that's right. We have to get guns for him. Because he doesn't have one, does he? We took his. <laughs> Whoa. Another awesome menu. So yeah, we can get melee weapons too. What's a protector? All right. Oh, so it's something you could wear. Increases your defense. Makes sense. Okay. Accessories. Oh, I see. So on this menu, it tells you who you're buying it for, and it shows you what you already have equipped. All right, which one? And then these are the things you could buy. This is expensive stuff. Okay. Let's just focus on the weapons, I guess. All right. You want range weapons? Oh, and I guess we also got a ton of money from uh, Ryuji, because now we have extra to buy him a weapon. Sounds good. I guess we'll get him a weapon then. Huh. He already has this. Hmm. It is significantly better. But it's pretty expensive though. What about ourselves? We just get a weapon for ourselves instead of him. <laughs> it's a 10 point difference. What was his difference? That's like a 22 point difference. So yeah, we probably should get his weapon. Let's just see everyone else first. Does Anne have anything? Replica SMG. How much damage does that do? Can we see it? Sounds good. Now I can't see what our current weapon does. Let's just get the one for Ryuji right, since it told us to get his weapon anyway. That's what you're choosing. Yep. Don't break it, okay? Yeah, I'll try not to break it. Quick. Can we sell the other one then? Oh yeah, we do have an option to sell it. We we'll only get 280, but I doubt there's a point to keeping it. If there is a point to keeping it, let me know, but I'm gonna sell for now. Hey, you're gonna buy my stuff even though you're miners? Yeah, he's all for this. They're just models anyway, supposedly. You know, I have to say, I wonder if they're supposed to be real weapons, or maybe just in the English translation they're models? Cause like, I don't know. We're more sensitive about like, students with guns in this country? I don't know. 
I don't know what's like in Japan about that either. So we still have almost three thousand dollars for yen. Sounds good. Unfortunately, the weapon. Oh, yeah, we we could almost afford this, but we can't. What about Morgana? So this is equipped. So we can tell how much damage it is. We could afford that. Sounds good. What about the melee weapons? Let's okay. check out those real quick. All right, which one? You know what? It does say up or down. So I don't know what the current weapon we have, like what amount it is, but this is stronger than what we have. And this is lower. Well, we can't afford it though. Both of these are better. This is what we already have. 10 point difference. Japan does have good gun control. Yeah, I think I heard about that. Like, really, they're more strict about, like, who can have guns in Japan. If, like, anyone even can. Is it just the police? I'm not sure. But I guess if they have less gun crime, maybe they don't care so much about having that in their games. Okay, I don't know. I really wish we could see what kind of weapons these people currently have equipped. Like, we could see what it is. Like, it's the leather whip and the replica SMG. Sounds good. But I can't really tell how much better these things are. Well, we know this one at least. We know this one too. Hmm. Maybe I'll just get this one for Mona slash Morgana. Hmm, that one. We're gonna have like no money, but whatever. How's that? And sell the old one. Okay. Certainly nothing else we can get now. You ready, dude? Yeah, they got all sorts of shit. You say anything else? No. Okay. Come again. Thanks. Nothing else to see here. All right, let's get out of here, man. Anyways, I'll have you do the choosing from now on. Get me the strongest looking ones. The yeah, only the police and military have guns there. You here? I thought it was something like that. Yeah. Who's this? The haughty regular. Boss, did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony. You're talking about the psychotic whatever thing people are going on about. Oh, you can actually press square to compare. Oh, thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind for next time. I heard it completely alters your personality. The news here is saying that the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking questions. There's no way a preposterous story like that could be true. Well, you'll see. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. Ugh, how rude. This must be why you don't get many regular customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of the store. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Please come in again. I only said this out of politeness, but... Uh, thanks for the coffee. Alright, got him out of here. What a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. You treat patrons like that? How are you still open? I guess we'll see how business is going for him. Let's see. Doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Is that a motto of yours? Mm. Nah, it's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it, but I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be a, a little bit useful around here. <sighs> Anyways, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. Alright, that's interesting. <laughs> He's pretty abrasive towards his customers too, so it's not just us. So I had to say Shiho at the hospital. And how was she? Her condition is stable. Oh, that's good. But they don't know if she'll regain consciousness though. Oh. 
I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah, she'll get better. I know it. I just need to believe in her. But I'll never forgive Kamashita. He's gonna pay for what he did, no matter what. Okay. We're just about ready to go to the palace. Now we just need to assemble some more infiltration tools. Clean up that desk and see if we could use it. Oh, now we get to do that. Right. Let's do it. Okay. Great, now you can make things whenever you want. Awesome. I'm assuming there's a tutorial for this. I'll provide the materials this time. Try to make a lockpick. Alright, so there is a crafting mechanic to this game too. It has everything. <laughs> materials are collected from defeated shadows. Okay, so defeating shadows will also give us materials to craft with, so... That's another point for why I should be fighting them. Making tools will cause you... cause time to pass, but it'll improve your proficiency, really. So we'd end up doing, like, a part of a day doing this. And the proficiency increases the likelihood that we'll, uh, make a better item or whatever. Alright. Let's do this. We have enough material? We actually make a couple of different things if we really wanted to. Yeah, let's see. So, square is used for information in the menus. Let's use it now. You can open a locked chest. A deodorant that raises your presence. So, that'll lower the security level it gets too high. A tool that allows you to return to the metaverse entrance. Oh, that's awesome. So we can use that to go back anytime we want. I wonder if this is a one-time use or if that's like a tool that... Well, if it says have and it's time zero, it makes me think you probably only use like one at a time. Wait, where's the one I was looking at? This one. Yeah. Anyway, let's just make the thing in question. The lockpick. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be safe if it doesn't go well your first time. Oh, great. Are we gonna screw this up? What are your thoughts? Did I finish? I hope so. Yeah, we did it. We're successful. Hey. Sweet. Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. There we go. I wonder how many successful things we need to do before it levels up to, like, two or whatever. Because the same happened with knowledge. We got a point in that, but it didn't go up to, like, knowledge two. It's hard to tell. All right, All right whatever. Okay. Well, we should be ready now. We're heading to the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Damn, already? 